Challenge Roth is one of the biggest and most iconic triathlon races in the world. Every year thousands of people tune in to watch the event. But they mostly get to see the pros do their thing in the front of the race. Arguably the real magic of the event happens further back, where dreams are being realized and personal barriers broken down. Fortunately, Challenge Roth is also one of the few long distance triathlons in the world that allows relay teams. And as it happens, GTN has three presenters. So today we're going to bring you the race from a new perspective. We are going to jump into the biggest triathlon race in the world as GTN does the Challenge Roth Relay. Swim 3.8 kilometers, bike 180 kilometers, and run 42.2 kilometers with over 5,000 of our closest friends and a further 200,000 or so spectators lining the course. Yeah, from the epic swim start here on the Danau Canal, framed by hot air balloons and big crowds, to the Solaraberg with crowds 10 deep on either side of the road, to the epic grandstand finish line. Challenge Roth is on every triathlete's bucket list. Yeah, but while we're all familiar with the pros tearing it around the course saying iron distance records, there's a further 4,000 or so athletes having their own epic day. And today, we're gonna to be joining them. Yeah, we are not gonna try and break any records. We're not gonna beat any pros times. In fact, we're not even gonna try and win the relay. We are just here for the lols. We are gonna cruise around the course and show you the other side of Challenge Roth how amazingly supported it is, how exciting it is, and how much fun it is. So we're gonna bring you along for the journey. Okay guys, first things first, are we gonna address the pronunciation? Oh yes. Rot, Roth, 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 Oh, I like that one. Yeah, let's go for that. Yeah, okay, I, I, I've you heard you that? saying Roth and Roth, Roth, so you're Roth. confused. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Everyone knows where we are anyway. We are at Challenge Roth. And it has been decided that Heather is going to do the swim. So basically she gets to do the swim and then spend the rest of the day just chilling out and enjoying the scenery. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm going to take on the bike. Um, hopefully it won't take too long. And then after that, Probably gonna enjoy a couple of beers and get out on course and start supporting. Well played, Mark, too. Well, that means you get the fun part, James, the run. Yeah, the fun part in 30 degree yeah, heat. Oh, you like it warm. Yeah. Yeah. And then we all get to cross that famous finish line together. Yeah, which you've got a lot of experience doing. Um, Heather, it's gonna be your first it time. It is, yeah, very excited. I've done a relay before, but I'm excited to do it with us guys. Okay, Team yeah. GTN. Maybe next year Mark can do the individual and get across that finish line. It is a pretty special finish line. Yeah, well, that is obviously quite a long way down the road. We're getting a bit carried away now. I think first we need to actually go and do some registration. Yeah, but before we do that, I actually need to head on into the expo to Canyon to get my bike serviced by the mechanics there because they are offering quite a cool service, a relatively new service. So anyone owning a Canyon bike can get their bike serviced for free here at Challenge Road or at Finesse and or at a few other major events throughout the year. So I know there's a couple of minor yeah, issues what on my bike, is so that I mechanic going to find on Mark's bike? <laughs> oh, well, we'll I'll try and be quick. Expo. We'll take it to the expo while Mark I'll gets get start. his machine sorted out. Right, here we go. Hello. Okay. It's nothing too bad. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, all done. Oh, good. Machine. I feel like it was kind of. Too. <laughs> I feel like it was a test of my kind of mechanical ability. Oh, did they give you? A, did they like? He didn't give me a telling off, but there were a few things. Little tut tuts. The, the the headset he wasn't too happy about, um, and he did tut at the bottom bracket. It's a bit sticky. Who's been looking after this bike? Uh, but all in all, it was pretty good. So I'm um, ready to go. Well, we better go register than to get our numbers, yeah. otherwise um, they won't let us start. So. To the what's, registration. What's the bike course look like? Uh, don't worry about it, just follow the other riders. Oh, right. Okay. That's everything done. We are registered. Mark has had his bike uh, looked over by an actual professional. So uh, all sorted. Time to put our feet up and get ready for a long day tomorrow.
And we're here. It's race day. This is a lot less stressful than I remember it. Very magical, but of course, I don't have to race for a few hours. A bit more stressful for our swimmers and our bikers though, but uh, we'll be okay. <laughs> Best way to enjoy the start. Heather's in there somewhere. I haven't spotted her yet. I'll try to catch her on the way past. There's Heather there. There she goes. Good start. Well, I mean, that was fairly straightforward, I guess. Unfortunately, being in a relay, the, well, we're wave 21, and I did feel like I was swimming with hundreds of other people in there, but I guess we're all in it together. Um, sadly, no one to chat to. That's the thing I miss about swimming the most, that it just, it's kind of like an hour or so, I don't know how long I was in there for, but just on your own, swimming away. Um, but yeah, it was lovely and warm, almost toasty, which I shouldn't complain about, and quite straightforward, really. Not much to report about the swim. I'm kind of slightly aching to breathing to the right, because you had to breathe to the right the whole way to try and see the wall, and I'm try and mix it up a little bit. But um, yeah, I've had my morning wash, and I'm ready to go and support the guys. This is it. I'm doing it. I'm on the challenge off course. This is awesome. This is a massive bucket list for me. I know I'm not doing the full, but still. A bit of a chaotic start getting past a few people as we merged with the second lap, guys. But now, I'm out onto the fast roads and loving it. Well, that was a lot of fun. I think this is the hill they're talking about. How do you find it? Oh, f <laughs> I think that sums it up. Here we go. Challenge Rot is famous for many things, but this part of the course arguably trumps them all. Welcome to Solaraberg. This is a short climb towards the end of each lap, but what makes it special is the crowds. This is the closest you'll get to feeling like a rider in the Tour de France, as a wall of spectators part as you ride towards them, leaving just enough room to weave your way through. Now, starting a few hours behind the front of the race, the crowds sat understandably moved on a bit by the time I had come round. But still, three hours on, and people are still screaming at every passerby. My heart rate was through the roof. This may be my most enjoyable cycling experience to date. On to lap two. We've got, well, we've got a little group of four of us just ticking along here. Quite nice. I found a friend. <laughs> Who we got? Lee Rumble from Earth to Tidville ATG. Doing the individual, sort of riding along together for a little bit now. So uh, we play, best play it safe, but 
Yeah, you're doing well, mate. Yeah, it's good. Doing really well. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, is this your first time? First, uh, first one out here. Oh, nice one. You loving it? It's fucking class. <laughs> it's really good. Right, let's get back in our aero bars and get serious. Well, see to see these beers. I mean, we started a good few hours after the pros. I'm on my second lap. Yeah, every town and village we go into, the streets packed out, they're cheering us on, they're just loving it. They've got their camp chairs out, kids are screaming. This is what makes them. Ten to fifteen k left. My back is in pieces. Absolute pieces. Very funny power out. We're in the right spot. No, it's not a mark. He has my, my competition here. Yeah. He yeah. was just doing some strides to warm up for his marathon. Uh, I, uh, just easy strides. I, I think it's warming up. Yeah, for, yeah. Personally, what uh, time are we running? About three hours, hopefully. Hopefully? Yeah, yeah. hopefully. We'll see. I don't think I'll try and keep up. Yeah. How, how far away is your rider? Uh, he, he must be five minutes away. Okay. So, but Any for sure, I'm going to be close to Mark then. We might be running together. Yeah. Oh. I hope so. We'll keep an eye out. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Got one key in. I think I might have done the classic starting too fast. It's hard not to when there's that many crowds. Come up to a bit of a quieter spot now, so maybe slow down into my route. Nice throwing mate. <laughs> Keep it up, how's the day going? Oh, going. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's going pretty well right now. Yeah, I'm not done Excellent. Keep it up, man. Thank you. Four K's, eight station. And now we're on the canal. Wow. Turn around one done, eight kilometers. So far, so good. I think the GTN suit is uh, working pretty well. Been quite a lot of cheers, although. Someone did say, yeah, Mark from GTN, which is a little bit offensive. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Okay, okay, goodbye. Kilometer 14, that makes us one third of the way through the run. Yeah, yeah. 
Where are you from? Swindon. Swindon? Oh, yeah. wow. Just around the corner from me. Yeah, I know. Come yeah. all this way. Yeah, all this way. We're challenging you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, Dad? Have you done it before? Never. No. First time? First time, yes. Meeting all the expectations? And some. Yeah, it's pretty special, this one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Pretty special. All right, let's... I just had to find an excuse to come and do it, so I did the relay with no training. No, I'm not exactly uh, enjoying it at this point. <laughs> not the only one. <laughs> but uh, the finish line will be worth it. I can absolutely oh. guarantee you that. <laughs> we saw another South African, Nanette. How's your day going? Everything expected? Everything as expected. Swim was nice. Yeah. Bike. Solid Hill was amazing. Yeah, it absolutely is amazing. amazing. Well, wait till you get to the finish line. And then <laughs> this runs dragging a bit. It did, it does. It does. So far, so good. Oh, well, talk to me. Yeah, that's awesome. Where are you from? Switzerland. Switzerland? First yeah. time at Rock? First time at Rock. Nice to meet is you. Is Rock everything you expected? It's better than I expected. It's good. just amazing. It is, isn't it? It is. Well, I had like four, four punctures the first oh, time. Oh, uh, four punctures. The first time the wheel, the, um, yeah, the wheel came off. Oh, and I just get out and uh, oh, that one oh. section. You damaged your, your great suit too. Yeah, oh. that's bad. And, uh, I sat on the side of the road for like 30 minutes. Yeah, no doubt. And then decided I gotta finish. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, it's brutal. It's good. It's, it's brutal, good. isn't it? But it's f***ing awesome. <laughs> we, so, might have, we might have to bleep that one out in my video. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, it's fantastic. It's once in a lifetime oh, experience. He's, he's struggling with his adjectives <laughs> when he can't use the F word. Richard, where are you from? I'm from Britain. Essex in particular. Oh, Essex, that's yeah. where my wife is from. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, look there, South African flag. Carl Homestay, Cornelia. Hello, Cornelia. Hi, James. You're going great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love Hi. hugs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm having some ice for you at the Oh, thank you. I'll see you there now. <laughs> Cornelia was my homestay. Almost every year that I came here and raced as a pro. She's like a second mother to me. It's awesome. And the crowd's still going strong, even now. It's like impossible to slow down because there's so much cheering. Welcome and roads. Nice work, buddy. Are you running with me? Yeah. Woo. So, James, how are you doing? 25k in. Yeah, having fun. I'm cheering at everyone I go past. Oh, you're passing lots? Good for my, yeah. <laughs> uh, I used to always get really frustrated with the the relays when they came flying past you looking fresh as a daisy in an Ironman or an Ironman distance. And uh, to be honest, today I'm that guy. I don't know if I'm flying past them, to be fair. And I'm a little bit incognito because I decided to wear a trash suit. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, I was going to say, that, that, look no like one knows. And you've yeah. got shades, so no one knows yeah, if you're hurting exactly. or not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's always been the strategy. <laughs> So, I'm fun, I'm the run, there's some run fitness there. Uh, You've no. been hiding. <laughs> it's gonna fail on me any second. We're coming up to the two hour mark of running and any second now. Wow, you look comfortable. <laughs> Must be the switch shoot. <laughs> there's the side can play me in. Cornelia again. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's back. It's, uh, the golden treatment. Oh yeah, I'll stick it down my suit. Yeah, you can. Thank you. Oh, let's put one on the front. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Some over my head. Yeah, you can have a third one if you want to. Let's that in there. Thank you, that's okay. Thank you, Cornelia. Yeah, I'm Great service. I'm happy to As always. I never saw him smiling like that on a race. It's because I'm going so slow. Good luck. Thanks, Cornelia. Looking strong. How's this guy? Hey. You're looking great, mate. He's going to call this a triathlon on Strava because he's run 200 meters. <laughs> How's the heat? That was fun. Yeah, yeah enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Woo! 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 You're running the rest of the way with me. Oh, man, bro, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's only 11k's. Yeah, well, you can I'll manage have, that off the I've got beer back there if I get warm. Oh, so. well, why don't you do? take the chip <laughs> and run the rest of the way and I'll go and drink the beer. Thank you. Found another runner here. 10 k's to go. How are we feeling? Uh, yep. 
almost there. <laughs> almost there. <laughs> Looking forward to that finish line. Yeah. First time in a row? Yes, first time. Yeah. And good? Everything yeah. you thought it would be? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to the finish line now. The finish line. Yeah. <laughs> we all are. Here's the Brucial Hill. 33k is done. Nice running! Woo! That's it! That's it! I'm suffering. <laughs> yeah, we're all suffering, Barbara. We're all suffering, Barbara. <laughs> Proper top two of, fun, this is. A lot of cramps. Yeah. You know? Not gone quite to plan. Every, everywhere. Yeah. Not gone quite to plan. You're still moving, though. Still running, even. Not even walking. If you walk, then. It's gonna take even longer, so. That is true. That's why Quickest way to the finish line is to just run there. That's right. Here's a real life update for you. Quarter punch stop. Has to be done sometimes. It's pretty unpleasant in here. We do a marathon without training. It's as sore as doing a full distance with good training. Make yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely toast now for <laughs> Well done. We made it. Try in, guys. Well done. Well done. Challenge Rock Relay done. What are we saying? Was it worth the experience? <sighs> it, it, well, yeah, it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> that wasn't a sigh and oh, I'm questioning it. It really was quite a day. I, I yeah. thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I concur. I, like, I started this thinking, I'm not sure I can even get around the marathon course. But once I was out there, it was just like, this is so fun. Yeah. I'm having so much fun. I'm like, every, everywhere I went, people were cheering, shouting the whole time. There was just crowd support. The bit, way behind the pros. There was just so much crowd support. The amazing. support, the, the, the spectators and the support is just nuts, isn't it? I mean, yeah. every town, every little village. And considering we went three hours later, yeah. then, and I, even on the second lap, people were still sat there outside their yeah. houses. It was I mean, the pros incredible. were finished before I started my run. That's how far <laughs> behind we were, and still, they were all out there cheering, making a noise the whole time. Really it cool. is an amazing experience at this race. I, he I really enjoyed it. Heather, what do you think? Your first experience of rock? Yeah, I uh, mean, I've, I've loved it. It's, I've also got a new fan respect for spectators um, after doing the swim. I had my little wash early on, and then I'm like, God, I, feel, I definitely feel the rest of the day has been far harder than the swim was. I did that five times over than like trying to run around here. But also the amount of volunteers, I know you, like, you get at every event, but it's just really cool. Now, there's loads of little kids out on course helping. And, like, I'm knackered and I need to sit down. The kids are still like handing up water and all sorts. So you're going to do the whole thing next year? Um, I might build up slowly. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Very non-committal. I mean, it really is a family atmosphere, isn't it? It really it is. It feels like a community. You feel like you're living it with everyone else on course. People yeah. are chatting away, just smiling. There's a real vibe. We really enjoyed it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you did enjoy it, hit the thumbs up button and remember to subscribe to GTN so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Maybe Heather's individual Roth challenge. Hey. We've done that one, I think. I'll go check out the uh, after party, the finish line. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Enjoy the finish line.